what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house once again today we are starting sons of anarchy season four you know a lot of people has been waiting on this um videos haven't been doing great but it is what it is i still want to finish up this series we got i think four more seasons to go four five six and seven so Let's take our time and we're going to get through it, all right? So, um, we know how the season ended. We finally got rid of Stahl. Boys are in jail, you know. So, I expect them to, you know, start this off with them coming out of jail because they, they weren't supposed to they, just do a couple of months. Um, and then they should be out. So, it's going to be kind of like, an, uh, um, in my opinion, it should be like an homecoming kind of episode and then establishing the storyline for the season so that's what i'm looking forward to but in any case man we're not gonna waste too much time here want to go watch the series but i do want you guys to know you're watching this on youtube and you're not watching my intros but if you are congratulations because um in the near future i'm gonna start leaving hints and stuff in my intros and my reviews about stuff and prizes that you can win on the channel especially for this holiday season okay so stay tuned um yeah, yeah hey if the if you don't watch the intro if they're not watching the intro or, or, or the review i don't need you guys to put don't put it in the comment section do not put because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say anything on my update videos about this or anything like that because i've been saying this for like a while now i've been saying this that I need you guys to start watching my intros and my reviews because I don't think they're that bad. It's just for the support of the channel so that the watch time can stay up or even get even better because I notice on my videos, my watch time is like people are literally coming to my, you know what I'm saying, to just go to the Google Drive. And I don't want you guys to do that because if my channel dies, then... If the channel doesn't grow at all, you get what I'm saying? If people are not watching the videos, if people are just spending like less than 30 seconds on my videos, YouTube is not interested if my video, my my intro and review is like 10 minutes and then people are only watching my videos for a couple of seconds. That means my, my content is shitty. That's how the algorithm is going to read it. It's always bad content let's not promote this and put it anywhere because people just come to the videos and just they go somewhere else you know what i'm saying and it is an issue yes it is an issue so i'm just encouraging you guys to to, to do that for me but for all of you that have been doing it i am going to do something back for you guys that's all it is but anyways thank you guys so much i will see you guys for the review of the beginning of sons of anarchy season four All right, two episodes down, season four. Let's talk about it. So, season opened up with a banger, of course. The Sons of Anarchy, the season openers are always very good to watch. Now, the main thing I want to talk about about these two episodes, no, um, of course, we have Jackson Tara getting engaged. We got Opie getting married. We got them getting out of jail, of course, and also them killing the Russians and all this stuff that happened. But I do want to extensively talk about the situation that they're in right now. They, they, they don't know that they're under investigation, under a RICO investigation, for that matter, you know, for the, the, all this gang activity. They're trying to tie them back to the Russians and the IRA and all of this other stuff. So they just trying to take down everybody in one swoop. You know. So let's see how it goes. They don't know about all of that. Right. But I also want to talk about. Mainly I want to talk about is this situation that's going on with Jax. Between basically it's Jax and Tara now versus Clay and Gemma. And that's the most intriguing part. Of what's going on right now because it's not a backstory. You get what I'm saying? It's not 
a, a storyline that's to be pushed to the back. It's kind of like the main story of what's been going on since season one with John Teller, right? Jax's father. It's just been a roller coaster ride because we don't know who John was. And that's the kind of thing. It's just like, in some ways, you think he's such a bad and terrible person. He was trash as a, as a, as a person. Like, let's just be honest about it. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, all in all, in my opinion, there's no, the, the, the not even, I mean, Tara is probably the closest you're going to get to a quote unquote good person in this series. So let's just call it, call it what it is. Okay. Everybody else is just like, everything is just, is just magnified to a degree that you don't want it to be right. So it's just crazy. You know, we want things to be the way how we want them to be. We don't want those things to change. Right. But at the same time, it's just like, who is this John Teller guy? We don't have him in the show. We we are finding out scraps and little pieces of who he was. We found out at the end of last season that there's a possibility that Clay and Gemma conspired to kill him, right? And we know what kind of rift that can cause. Even though Jax has come to the conclusion that he wants to leave the club, he just wants to get this money, just like Clay, he wants to earn this money quickly in the next year or two so that they can both get out of the motor club and just go live their lives. And Jax wants to be with his family and Clay just wants to be because he feels like he won't be able to manage anymore because, because of his hands, right? So he's going to get voted out anyway, so he might as well, you know what I'm saying, do what they want to. So they've come to an agreement, which I think is going to bite them in the ass. You just never, ever get involved with cartels. You don't get involved with them. The only way out of a cartel, the only way out is death. You know too much. They're going to kill you. <laughs> Period. It's see that once you join, you are there for life. That's how their gang works. You get what I'm saying? The cartel is not a motor club. You don't get to, you know what I'm saying? There's no voting table and all of this other stuff. It's what the boss says that goes. You get the head honcho. He decides what happens. It's his business. You don't, you don't, you don't mess around. You will get killed for little or nothing. You get what I'm saying? So they're more ruthless. The cartel is more ruthless. Ruthless um, gang, if you want to say that. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of tough sometimes when it comes on to, from, from what I've seen portrayed, and I'm pretty sure they have resources, you know, of dudes that gives them an insight of what it's like to be with a cartel, you know, maybe guys from jail or something like that. People do their research when you're portraying cartel on TV. They don't just decide that, oh, this is how they operate, blah, blah, blah. They do their research based on how the actual cartels in real life operate. You get what I'm saying? The, the Pablo Escobars of the world, the Medina cartel, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Mexican cartel. They do their research of these guys, you know what I'm saying? And imagine they took out the Russians, bro. And you just don't get involved with them. You just don't. And I think this is going to be because they want quick money. That meaning Clay wants this quick money. I think this is going to cause them to maybe be the death of the club. As Bobby said, it's, you know, it is a possibility of that. But as I've said before, my intrigue more lies on the side of what's going on with the John Teller story. Gemma is panicking. That simply means that Unser knows what happened to John also. Because was John a good person? No. He was still a part of a gang. Period. So that doesn't make him, oh, he's this great person or whatever. It's just that the fact that he wanted to get out but didn't know how to. You get what I'm saying? Because it seems like 
they made a plan. Clay and Gemma made a plan to kill John so that Clay could get his seat or for Clay to become president because she was drawing closer to Clay, right? And he blamed himself for messing up the marriage. He ne he, he, he took responsible re responsibility for that, no doubt about it. But at the same time, what kind of situation is this? If Tara ever, if Tara should tell Jax, what, what would this situation cause? You get what I'm saying? Him knowing this, what would he do? Would he go at his mom's and Clay? You get what I'm saying? Would he do that? I don't know. I don't think he would go at his mom's. I think he would blow up and, you know, argue and scream at them and blah, blah, blah and all of this and probably just walked away from the club. I think in certain aspects, I think that Tara should tell him because I think he would just walk away from the club and, and he can let the club know, hey, you know what I'm saying? He can let the, he, I mean, I don't know, because if he let the club know, they're definitely going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at Clay a certain way now, maybe even kill him, because he killed a, a basically a president of the motor club, and they'll probably end up killing him. So, I don't know. I don't know. If, if the rest of the motor club, I, I, I think because of his mom he probably wouldn't tell the club he probably wouldn't tell them you know what i'm saying but he would let them know it's like i know and you now you're gonna have to let me leave you get what i'm saying i think the fastest way to get jacks out of the club with which would be for him to know i think that's the best situation of getting him away from the club if if i was thinking if i was tara that's what i would do to let him know because some of the times, you know, I think I think Tara is trying to get her facts straight so that she can present it with evidence. And that's why she got the, 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 the accident report of what happened. She's investigating because she's like, I don't want to take Maureen. You know, Maureen could just be doing this because she was in love with John. Or maybe she just hates Gemma. So she's got to do her research. So I definitely respect what Tara is doing. Doing a little bit of investigation to get the facts right. Because you don't want to go and tell tell um, Jax that, hey, I suspect that Gemma and Clay might have conspired to kill your father with no evidence to back it. Just based on some letters. Like, anybody can write that in a letter, but you don't know for sure if, if they actually did it or not. But based on us, the audience, and seeing how Gemma is panicking about them might be finding out about all this or what she could have tell what he could have tell told Maureen and all of this, you can see that they're guilty about something. Are they guilty about killing him? You get what I'm saying? Because she did say something to uh, to answer when she said to him when John was killed. So she knows he got killed. That it was no accident right but she knows he was killed on purpose he was murdered but did she do it did they hire someone to do it probably we don't know so there's a lot there to dig in and find out what is really going on there and i think that is the most intriguing part of the story right now the other stuff is you know what i'm saying the other stuff is intriguing too but it's not as intriguing to me as that to as in to carry the story because we know they're gang members police are going to be looking for them trying to take them down so we know that aspect of the show is going to continue because they're criminals <laughs> right so in any case thank you guys so much man for tuning in as always i'm gonna try to get as much as these episodes done so that i can get these out to you guys next week thank you guys so much make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment um i'm getting off right now to go watch Game 5 of the NBA Finals um, to hopefully watch LeBron get his fourth ring. That would be a, a very good thing for, for him and for us Laker friends. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Happy for y'all. See you guys next time. Peace.